Cinnamaldehyde is the naturally occurring substance that is responsible for the distinct taste and smell of cinnamon. It is a pale, yellow, viscous liquid that is found mainly within the bark of cinnamon trees and other species of cinnamomium, which genus contains around 300 species in itself. Today, we will be using the method of hydrodistillation to pull the cinnamaldehyde from the bark of the cinnamon tree. To do that, we must first process the cinnamon down to be able to fit into a boiling flask. To do this, we start by breaking up the cinnamon using a pestle and mortar. We grind down the cinnamon, and we want to avoid grinding it into a dust because this will make the distillation foam and cause a possible overflow. I ended up grinding down about 32 grams of cinnamon and added it to the boiling flask, followed by 200 milliliters of distilled water. Because I have animals around, I set up my still outside, I fill my condenser, and turn on my heating mantle to a lower heat. Once the water starts boiling here, we can see that it is bubbling rapidly, but not foaming. As the distillation starts, we see a cloudy liquid start to come over. This distillate only looks cloudy because of the cinnamaldehyde and oil that it contains. The oil is held in the suspension, making it the water opaque. We can actually see in our receiving flask that the oil has started to come together to form bubbles on the surface of the water. This is just some of the oil within the solution though. Once we collect the first 90 to 100 milliliters of solution, we add in the additional 100 milliliters to the boiling flask. We are only going to distill out about 50 more milliliters or so, however, if I had time I would have collected more. Now comes the fun part. I pour about 150 milliliters of the distillate into my separation funnel, followed by 25 milliliters of methylene chloride, or DCM for short. When I cap, shake, and vent the funnel, the DCM will begin to pull the cinnamaldehyde from the water because it is more soluble within the DCM than the water itself. We allow the layers to sit and separate out the lower DCM layer into a flask. I then repeated this step six times until I had used 150 milliliters of DCM. It should be noted though that I recovered about 149 milliliters of the 150, so almost nothing was wasted. After the six washings, I added all the DCM into the separation funnel, followed by 100 milliliters of saturated so sodium chloride solution. I shook, vented, and allowed them to separate. This will help dry the DCM to pull any of the water that got carried over. Then, I separated out the DCM into a flask containing calcium chloride to continue the drying. From here, I filtered out the calcium chloride from the DCM with a vacuum. I filtered it straight into a boiling flask because from here we will boil off our DCM to recover it, which should leave us with pure cinnamaldehyde oil. As I said earlier, I recovered about 149 milliliters out of the 150 milliliters I used, and the other milliliter was probably still sitting in my distillation set somewhere. In the end, I was able to recover 0.54 grams of almost pure cinnamaldehyde oil. In the future, I plan on doing a really cool clock reaction with it, known as the cinnamaldehyde clock reaction. Until then, you can see all the videos that I'm currently working on here, and until next time, have a great rest of your day.